Hello and welcome to a very brief introduction to the change of licensing for DPA version 6.2 and beyond. Full documentation as usual is available from the indicated site with particular reference to the installation and administration guide and the licensing guide. First of all, why are we changing the licensing system? Well, it will align DPA licensing with other EMC products using the common licensing platform. It will simplify the licensing process, which is currently very manually driven. Currently, licenses can take up to 24 hours to turn around. With the new system, an activated license will be available to the customer immediately. It will facilitate a connection to ESRS, the EMC Secure Remote Support Gateway. And it allows for a 60 day evaluation license to be embedded within the product. To license DPA under the common licensing platform, you need to have DPA 6.2 or above installed and a license authorization code, or a LAC. Upgraded or migrated DPA 6.2 systems will continue to use existing .wls licenses until they are replaced. They don't need to be replaced immediately, although they should be considered at the very earliest opportunity. The new .lic licenses replace the .wls licenses with comparable features. Care needs to be taken in ordering new licenses because of the replacement feature of the licenses. For example, if you currently have 100 terabytes of Avamar coverage and you are moving to 120 terabytes of Avamar coverage, if you order a license to cover the extra 20 terabytes and install this license, the new license will replace the original license. It is not an additive process. Therefore, you would only have 20 terabytes of coverage. Therefore, when requesting new licenses, you should request licenses to cover the whole estate, just as if it were a newly installed system. Importing a .lic license will prevent importing of further .wls licenses in the future. No licensing server is required. A CLP for DPA works in what is termed an unserved mode, where the CLP library is embedded within the DPA application. DPA itself will track and monitor instances, counts and capacity limits within the CLP generated license. Warnings being given if these limits are exceeded. OK, let's now take a very quick look at a simplified view of how the licensing information flows. Once the sale is agreed, EMC or Channel Partner Sales will enter the required DPA features into their respective sales systems and these will be shared with the EMC Electronic License Management Server or ELMS. ELMS will generate a license authorization code which is then communicated to the customer. When DPA has been installed and is ready for licensing, the customer may open a hyperlink contained within the LAC letter to perform the registration and license activation process. A key part of the registration is to supply the hostname of the DPA application server or the master if this is a clustered implementation. The LAC detail is processed, ELMS validates the LAC, and a license key or keys are produced. The activated license file or files are then sent to the customer. These are then imported into DPA via the DPA UI through the system license management option. Thank you for watching.